So I want to ask you about reframing marketing within your organization. What are some of the um, factors that you're considering and how are you executing? So I think it, for us it begins with defining what marketing is. Uh, at, at Pearl Vision in particular, marketing is really about positioning which is really the art of sacrifice. And so the reframing of marketing has to start with understanding that marketing can't be everything to everybody. Um, it's forcing the brands like Pearl to be disciplined and rigorous in what we stand for. Um, there's a lot of things we could talk about, but what should we talk about and most importantly, what do we need to talk about? That dialogue is allowing us to then build a series of KPIs around what marketing's purpose is for our brand uh, and allowing us to measure it and be more effective in, in demonstrating solid results. So just give us a, a range of KPIs that are important for you. So for us, obviously it starts with um, top line sales. You know, while marketing is not necessarily a direct indicator of sales, the ability to fill the exam book in the case of Pearl Vision is a great leading indicator on whether or not we're gonna have a good week. So exams completed, exams scheduled is pretty important. Uh, marketing is also really looking at things like average dollar customer. You know, are we migrating our consumers, or as we like to call them, our patients, into the perfect pair, which includes the best possible frame and, and the most optimal lens. Uh, and then lastly, we're looking at things like our reputation score. You know, the most important marketing tool that, that a marketer has in their toolbox is word of mouth. And so we're very, very cognizant of the fact that marketing cannot control the brand narrative, but we can absolutely be involved in, in, in how we steward it. And most importantly, when we've missed the boat on something or an experience, getting in and doing that triage to hopefully take somebody who is an adversary and turn them into an advocate. And you must uh, have a great relationship with consumers. Uh, they're, part of, they're part of your operation. I mean, they're registered, as you call them, patients. Uh, how, do, how do you manage to, to the best effect that relationship? So for us, uh, relationship management is critical, especially in a business like ours where the cycle between interactions with the brand could be as frequently as 12 months if you're lucky, or unfortunately in some cases 36 months. And so we really take our loyalty platform, you know, the customer relationship management platform that we built very seriously. And so it's a journey. We want to be very balanced into what we say to our patients, both between exams as well as between purchases, because we want to be cognizant of the fact that we're not just competing for their business within optical, but most importantly we're competing for their share of mind. And so we're going to offer them tips and tools to how to ensure that their eyes are healthy, in addition to offering them incentives for to come back to Pearl Vision to get their eyes checked and, and to find that new perfect pair. So we really have developed a, a really robust cycle, both in the exam lane as well as in the retail floor, to ensure that we're staying connected to our patients between brand interactions. Cool, and you guys are a television uh, advertiser. We are. Uh, and you've seen television change, um, a lot of opportunities to target people. Sure. To, to reach a, a defined audience. Uh, tell us how these new tools or how television works for you and what are some KPIs around television advertising? So it's interesting, we actually don't really look at TV as TV, we look at TV as video. And so you have linear and non-linear. You know, for us, it, it's, it goes without saying that a consumer isn't necessarily spending all their time in front of the television, but they're also not spending all their time in front of a laptop or a desktop. And so what we want to do is build in a layer cake approach where we're using spot television and national TV as a way to create efficient brand awareness and brand consideration. But our business is very much at a local level. You know, we talk about winning the nine mile war for patient acquisition. And so that's where you get non-linear television, OTT is an example, to come in and provide us that frequency that we need to build that share of voice, to build that share of mind, to reinforce the consideration that we want to build with our neighbors when it comes time to find that perfect pair or to find that eye care provider that Pearl Vision is top of mind. And are you confident about closing the loop around uh, this sort of OTT and, and store activations? Uh, and how do you measure that? Is that? So marketers have to be comfortable with a degree of ambiguity. I think with emerging technologies, and I think OTT is a great example, there's a degree of comfortable uncomfortableness. Um, I would say we're comfortable in the fact that we're running on premium platforms, um, we're measuring as best we can. You know, if somebody can figure out how to basically take an ad on television and, and prove that that drove sales, you know, I think they'd be elected marketing genius of the year. You know, that, that conundrum has existed since I began my career in marketing. 
I think for us, what we really want to look at is, is what you talked about before, which is precise targeting. We focus a tremendous amount of time, not just on where we say it, but what we say. And that goes back to really defining what marketing is. Marketing is about brand positioning, which is about the art of sacrifice. We spend more time focusing on what we're going to say, which allows us to feel even more confident when it comes to where we're going to say it, that we're going to create a meaningful connection and drive action.